Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and welcome to the English news of Bing Phuc Radio Television Station and Newspaper. I'm with you and following at it last as usual. Digital transformation for a better life. Cultural exchange camp gathers ethnic people. Prime Minister urges enhancement of administrative reform. FDI inflow is ready to hit 40 billion US dollar. At the online meeting of the government's administrative reform steering committee with localities on July 15, the chairwoman of the Bing Phu People's Committee, Trần Tuệ Hình, reported on the province's outstanding achievements in administrative reform, digital transformation, and the provision of online public services. She made several recommendations to the Prime Minister and relevant ministries and sectors. Bing Phuc has always identified digital transformation as a means to solve societal issues and improve the quality of life for citizens, Chairwoman emphasized. With the concerted and decisive efforts of the entire political system and the adoption of appropriate methods, the province's digital transformation, especially its online public services, has achieved remarkable results, she noted. Specifically, the province has basically completed targets in digital government, digital economy, and digital society. As of June 14, citizen identification cards have been issued to over 49% of the eligible population. Electronic identification activation has been completed for 25% of those needing, and over 23% of the older population had digital signatures. The province has also effectively deployed digital platforms to support policy communication. The Bing Phu Information System won the Vietnam Digital Transformation Award in 2023 in the category of Outstanding Digital Transformation State Agency. Bing Phu recommended that ministries and cities support the province in completing the integration and sharing of specialized data to ensure data consistency. The Ministry of Information and Communications and Telecommunications Corporations were urged to prioritize the early deployment of 5G in the province. 3,000 Buddhists aged 18 to 40 from 20 ethnic minorities in 13 cities and provinces across the Central Highlands, Central and Southeastern regions are participating in the cultural exchange camp and retreat at Phuc Quoc Van Thanh Pagoda in Bình Long Tao, Bình Phu Province. In the spirit of unity, Buddhism, ethnicity, socialism, the event concludes activities focused on sharing experiences and professional skills, getting study and practice models, and enhancing organization, management, and connection among Buddhists in various cities and provinces. It also features activities such as exhibitions of photos and tools used by ethnic Buddhists from different localities, incense offerings at the Tathiet historical site, traffic safety dissemination, and culture and artistic exchanges among ethnic groups. Along with national target programs such as building new style rural areas, developing social economic regions for ethnic and mountainous areas, and sustainable poverty reduction policy credit funds from the program to reduce 1,000 poor ethnic households, have significantly transformed the lives of households in Bing Phu province. During the 2019-2023 phase of the program to reduce 1,000 poor ethnic households, the Bing Phu branch of the Social Policy Bank has enabled over 3,100 poor ethnic minority households to assess credit funds, with a total outstanding lending of nearly 148 billion Vietnam dong. On average, each household received a loan of 47.2 million Vietnam dong to develop their economy. These policy credit funds have facilitated production and business development for ethnic people in the province, helping them change their mindset and sustainably escape poverty. Many households have learned to manage their finances and reduce their dependence on state policies. Particularly in localities like Budang and Muzambab, policy credit funds have also helped curb shock loans, premature casual sales and land mortgages among ethnic people. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính on July 15 chaired a meeting of steering committee for administrative reform via video conference linking city three cities and provinces nationwide. According to the committee, in the first half of this year, 
up to 2,870 documents were issued to serve administrative reform and 168 business conditions, along with 247 administrative procedures either reduced or simplified. Many of Vietnam's indexes were upgraded, with its business environment up 12 notches to the 106th position in the World Business Freedom Index. The country was also ranked 46th out of the 132 economies in the Global Innovation Index. Addressing the meeting, Prime Minister Chin lauded efforts in the work. He also pointed to limitations, such as the inflexible management, pending documents, and lax disciplines, as well as causes behind them. For tasks and solutions in the time ahead, the government leader requested handling of bottlenecks related to institutions, mechanisms and policies, and increasing dialogues to facilitate production and business, among others. The People's Committees of Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, and Binduong and Quang Ninh provinces were asked to pilot the one-level public administrative service center model, with its outcomes to be reviewed in 2025. A workshop team, Future Technologies for Net Zero 2050, UK and Vietnam, was held recently in London, gathering academics, scientists and researchers from the two countries. The hybrid event was aimed to explore the potential of new technologies to catalyze clean energy transition in both countries and facilitate collaboration for solutions to the grand challenges in achieving net zero in Vietnam and the UK. Speakers shared new technologies, research and practical experiences in industrial decarbonization, green hydrogen production and conversion, and battery management and storage. They also touched up challenges and solutions to achieve the net zero goal in Vietnam, focusing on issues such as renewable energy, green hydrogen, energy storage, circular economy and policy orientations on energy transition. According to the associate professor, Many British foundations and organizations are ready to fund and provide consultations for projects in green energy and sustainable development. With positive results since in the first half of this year, foreign direct investment inflow in 2024 is up to hit $40 billion US dollar in the whole year, contributing to boosting the country's growth. Experts said FDI was an important factor pushing Vietnam's GDP growth rate in the first half of 2024 to 6.2%, laying the foundation for the Ministry of Planning and Investment to adjust the country's growth target for this year to 7%. According to the General Statistics Office, as of June 20, Vietnam had drawn nearly 15.19 billion US dollars in FDI, up 13.1% over the same period last year. Foreign investors are still confident in the Vietnamese market and interested in continuing to invest in Vietnam. The FDI can reach 39 to 40 billion US dollars this year, higher than the 2023 figure. Experts attributed the good FDI attraction results so far this year to the country's stable macroeconomic situation and good conditions in infrastructure system, human resources, tax, fee and land reserve access. The Dong Văn Khas Plateau Global Geopark and the Nong Nuk Cao Bang Global Geopark in the north of Vietnam and the Dak Nam Global Geopark in the Central Hollis region are the most destinations for domestic and foreign tourists. The Dong Văn Khas Plateau was recognized by UNESCO in 2010 as an official member of the Global Geoport Network, the first of its kind in Vietnam and the second in Southeast Asia. About 60% of the Dong Văn Khas Plateau surface is limestone. Its landscape is spectacular, featuring high mountains and deep canyons. In September 2023, the Khas Plateau was recognized as a global geopark by UNESCO for the third time. Non Nuk Kaobang was officially recognized by UNESCO as a global geopark in 2018, becoming the second of this kind in Vietnam. Located some 300 kilometers from Hanoi, Nan Nuk Kaobang covers 3,000 square kilometers with a highland tropical monsoon climate and two distinct wet and dry seasons. The geopark boasts a rich biodiversity. Meanwhile, Dak Nom Geopark was recognized by UNESCO as a global geopark in 2020, becoming the third of its kind in Vietnam. Covering more than 4,700 square kilometers, Dak Nom Geopark is home to the largest system of volcanic caves in Southeast Asia, with more than 50 caves and a total length of over 10,000 meters. 
That was 10 minutes of BVTV news. To watch the news again, you can download BVTV Go or visit our website and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.